of Cobra Garden machinery, I'd just like to run through the features and the model of this machine in front of me at the moment. First, first of all, the model number is an MX46 SPCE. It's an 18 inch self propelled 3 in 1 machine with the option of the electric start. I'd just like, while well here, I'd just like to run through some of the features on the machine. The first thing I'd like to point out too is the larger wheels on the back. For the manoeuvrability of the machine, this makes it far easier, certainly if you're using it in relatively long grass. The wheels at the front of the machine, again, they've got full bearings to make sure that the product lasts a long time. Good quality axle, it's got the premium deck, the actual deck is pressed from one piece of steel. I'd also like to show you the single height of cut adjustment. It's got one to seven heights of cut, seven being the highest and one being the lowest. As you can see, really, really easy to use. You can just do it with one, one hand. Good quality grass box, 65 litre capacity, hard bottom, canvas size, good quality top. The controls again at the top you've got the red lever which is the lever that you need to pull for engaging the engine and obviously once it's pulled you pull the recoil to engage the drive again the black lever at the back you move forward the drive of the machine is now engaged and obviously the great benefit of this machine again is you don't need to use a recoil it's an electric start machine once again you bring in the red lever towards you, you turn the key and the machine will start. I'd just like to show you this cover on the side. As I've said earlier, this is a three in one machine. What that actually means is you can cut and collect, you can side discharge or you can mulch the grass. If you wanted to side discharge the machine, the first thing you would need to do is take the grass box off the machine. Previously I was talking about side discharge in the grass, as you can see at the moment the side flap is down so the machine is ready to mulch. At the moment the mulch bug is already in because it has to be in when you're using the chute for the side discharge. So here is a mulch plug, very very easy to get out. You see the red button in the middle, you press that down, the mulch plug comes out then obviously you're doing your mulching so all you need to do is keep your finger lowered on the red button refit it into the machine the mulch plug is now in place pop the flap down at the back and away you go bring the lever towards you and you're ready to start mulching another feature of this machine which again is very good is the ability for storage if you've got limited storage space the machine is fitted with cam locks on the handle which serve two purposes Basically, you undo both the cam locks. Once these are undone, as you can see, I can move the handlebars all the way over the top to the top of the engine, which reduces your storage by 50%. And once again, the other advantage of having cam locks is you can actually lock the handles in whatever position is most comfortable for the person using the machine. But I mentioned earlier that this machine was a three-in-one machine. The first option that we've got is to cut and collect, as the machine is at the moment. If I decide I want to side discharge the grass rather than collect it, the first thing I would need to do is take the grass box off the machine, make sure the mulching plug is in the back of the machine, which is here. I will now put it back in. You then need to put the side discharge chute on the side of the machine, which is very straightforward. It locates underneath the two pins on the flap. So there you go, it's in place now. I'm ready to side discharge the grass. The side discharge chute is on the side of the machine. The mulch plug is in the back of the machine. I now would engage the drive and the grass will be side discharged out the right hand side of the machine. The great feature of this machine is the ease of starting. It really couldn't be easier. All you need to do, obviously it's the electric start machine, 
make sure you've got the machine on choke, bring the red lever towards you, which obviously is the safety mechanism for the engine. You turn the and it really is as easy as that.